Good morning and good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's webinar. My name is Ram. I'm one of the product specialists from the support team for Service Desk Plus Cloud, and I'm going to be the presenter for today. Today, we are going to take a look at the new AI capability, which was recently introduced for Service Desk Plus Cloud, and it is called Zia. Zia is Zoho's AI powered assistant for businesses. It was completely developed in-house by Zoho and Zia is now available as the conversational virtual IT support agents within the Service Desk Cloud application. Using Zia, you will be able to optimize your help desk management and you can also bridge the gap between end users and the IT help desk teams. Zia assists users in their help desk task by performing some pre-configured actions and using Zia, you will be able to actually address end users queries intelligently and you can also search service desk data for information. You can also invoke service desk operations uh, from Zia itself and you can also handle custom Zia actions where you will be able to build your own actions through Zia and make help make Zia perform those tasks uh, as per the end user's requirement, right? Zia, um, for example, you can, with the help of Zia, you will be able to log a request, you can add a task, you will be able to update notes, approve requests, and Zia can also answer direct questions and fetch information from the application's database. Users can actually integrate with uh, Zia uh, through chat and Zia also has the ability to communicate by voice chat um, as well, right? So Zia is available as a chat interface on the desktops as well as the native mobile apps. Zia is also available as a voice option in the native mobile apps for the Service Desk Plus Cloud application. So this is how the desktop application look like uh, in within the Service Desk Plus Cloud instance. And uh, this is how the chat interface looks like. So on the left hand side, you have the voice option where you can actually converse uh, with Zia through voice. Right On the right hand side, it shows you a ch converse, chat conversation where, which Zia can respond to to answer your queries, right? So Let's just quickly go into a demo uh, of how you can enable Zia and what Zia can do as a virtual agent and what are the four steps that are involved in deploying custom Zia actions in the application, right? So let's just quickly jump right into the product. So once I am inside, if I uh, go into setup, I see the Zia option on the bottom right hand corner. So if I click on Zia chatbot and I can enable Zia from here, right? And uh, you can specify whether Zia should be available as a web chat, should it be available as a mobile chat, and should Zia voice be enabled. So this basically, you are enabling it for all your organization's users who has access to Service Desk Plus application and the mobile apps, right? So you can enable it from here. So the web portal looks like this. So if you click on the Ask Zia option, it just quickly pops right up and uh, I can talk to Zia. Let's just say if I want to create a request, I'm just going to say create a request, right? And Zia will come back to me and say, what is the subject? I'm just going to say need a new keyboard. and it, and it will say, would you like to describe this request? I'm just going to say, I need a wireless keyboard. And I'm going to say, enter. And that's it. Now a request is immediately created for me in the application. So if I go into the, uh, it just presents me with the link as well. So if I go in over here, I will be able to quickly view those requests, right? That I just created. You can also search for solutions through Zia, right? So while well, I'm going to say search solution and let me just say if there is uh, uh, any easy doc solution, 
yes it's right there available for me so all i have to do is just click on it and it will show me a quick view of the solutions article uh, which was re re retrieved by zia right and let's say i'm going to um, I'm going to search for another solution. So let's just say, did you recommend this uh, solution? Did the solution recall resolve these issues? I'm just going to say yes, right? And it's it it just ends the conversation, right? So now let's say I'm going to search for solution again, right? And I'm going to search for let's say printer. If it has a no request, it's just going to say I'm, there are no solutions for it and I can just raise a request and it will go ahead and ask me, uh, go ahead and create a request, right? Likewise, you can, uh, you will be, uh, likewise, you can, you know, uh, add note, add tasks uh, to the, uh, to a request uh, in the application and you can also get a request count. For example, uh, I want Santa's request count. So, and it will say, what do you want, uh, what status um, you want to retrieve the count for, right? So, I'm just going to hit submit and it says there are no open requests for Santa, right? So, uh, let's just quickly do that again. So, I'm just going to say technicians or do you want to check for more statuses? Yeah, I'm going to say yes. So, let's just say closed. Okay, please cut this. So, okay, so let's just go ahead and check for technician's request count. I'm going to say Santa Mahiban. And I'm going to say all the open requests for Santa and it says there are about three uh, open requests and if it says do you want to check for more I'm going to say no or let's just say yes and see and it's going to say uh, all the other statuses and all, all I have to do is if I don't want I'm just going to discard. So likewise you can perform multiple actions through Zia's chat portal uh, in the application right and uh, now let's see how you can build your own action in Zia, right? So for that, all I have to do is you find this link over here, uh, which says you can build your custom actions. Just click on that link, which is here. It will take you to the Zia custom actions page, right? Over here, you have all the default actions and the custom actions. So you have a filter which shows uh, different, different actions. So I'm just going to say default action. I'm going to give all the actions that are available, right, which are out of the box and uh, you can also have some customized action. So let's just try to create a custom action, right? So I'm going to choose add action and I'm going to give the action name as let's say what's the support phone number, right? And uh, to, you can either answer a question or perform an action, right? So I'm just going to say answer a question. Would you want to, um, you know, give a direct answer or do you want to construct? So for now, I'm going to choose a direct action. I'm going to say um, support number can also be another way. This question can be asked, right? And what's the answer? I'm just going to say plus one, triple eight, seven, two, zero, nine, five, double, zero and hit next. All right. So, okay. No special characters. Let's just hit triple seven, two, zero, nine, five, double, zero and hit next right and the, it's going to give out more actions right so more ways to invoke this question so i'm going to call uh, it team number right and i can also say it team contact so these are other ways for it uh, question to be raised right so once i click save you can specify who, who should have access to this question right and i'm just going to click on save um, Okay, so that's how, now we have created a question, right? So, so that this is a direct direct answer question, right? So likewise, you can also uh, create another question. Now, let's just say uh, fetch data. 
as an action and over here you can directly perform an action which basically works through um, through Zoho's uh, DRE script right Zoho's deluge or you can also say answer a question and perform a construct an answer construct answer by fetching data right so this you can build your own actions or you can do some scripting with the help of uh, deluge which is uh, zoho's proprietary language right so you can build your own set of questions own set of scripts to um, you know constructively answer questions from the end users all right so that is another way to create actions uh, in the application right and we also have a help guide uh, in which we have provided some sample uh, Zia codes for you to get a quick hands-on experience. So if you go to if you go to our help guide and you have Zia Zia actions. So over here, this is just a sample help guide of all the quests and of the various actions that can be performed and uh, uh, what what is the use of it. You know, you you will have all those information uh, displayed right here and. Uh, You will have some sample scripts if you scroll down to the very end of the page uh, with which you can you know build uh, your own um, your own query or your own script right so this will be pretty useful for you to get a quick hands-on and you can also let us know uh, whether you found that useful or if you need any assistance you can always get in touch to us right so that is how you can create a zia's custom action uh, either by directly answering a query or to constructively answering them now we have just uh, so once you have created a, a query or uh, right or once you have created an action you would need to publish them right so let me just quickly hit publish and it has updated successfully if I go in over here and I can say IT support contact that immediately provides me with the answer right so likewise you can build your own actions for Zia in the service desk plus cloud application so this is the Zia's web portal right now I'm going to quickly show you how you can build um, I mean I'm sorry I'm going to quickly show you how Zia works through the mobile app right so uh, for let's let me just switch to the mobile screen all right, so now I have logged in to my uh, Service Desk Plus mobile app and I'm just going to quickly show you the conversation bot first. So if I click on the conversation bot and let me just increase the volume of the phone and let's see if it's full. Okay, and I'm just going to say uh, create a request and click send. And it's just, it, it, it basically does what it does on the web, right? So I'm going to call it a webinar request. And if I say that, and I'm just going to say no, if I don't want to provide any description. And it just quickly creates the request for me, right? So likewise, you can uh, converse with Zia and you can also constructively fetch answers as per the Zia actions which you create. And you also have Zia as a voice bot, right? So all I have to do is click on the action over here, like the mic icon. How may I help you? Create a new request. Request through Zia. Would you like to describe the request? No. And thereby the request is created uh, in the application. I can also search for solutions. So like I can just click search for solutions. Microsoft. Thank you. So thereby, it, it gives me a quick solution of the request as well through Zia's conversational bot. And that's how Zia's uh, mobile bot and, I'm sorry, the mobile app and the uh, web app works in the Service Desk Plus Cloud application. 
And with that, we have come to the very end of this webinar. Zia is now already available for all the service desk teams and the price for it is it's just free, right? So it's, it's just available for you to use. You can have a, a look at it. You can just play around with it. You have help guides and we also are here to assist you if you have any queries. So thank you so much uh, for joining this particular presentation. And if you got any queries, you can always email to us or to the support teams and we will be happy to answer. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.